Now they're giving us um, a lot more options with our website and it's becoming more confusing because of that. And right at first, there was only so many options we could do. It was, you know, um, set up your website, follow the Kelly guide and we were done. And now we've got quite a, quite a bit more with virtual tours and adding listings. Uh, this is something that Jeff and Paula Ballen Brands do also. They can be hired to build out the websites if you're stuck there. But I will tell you that you want to at least follow the Kelly guide and set up your website because if you don't, you're actually just a grayed out face on these websites when people do searches and they find your location. So it's, it's even if you're not going to use the KW Command website for everything, you want to at least go set it up. Get your logo in there, get your picture in there, get a little bio set up in there, okay? But right underneath, this is your hero image, they call this, which is the space up here above the fold, which is what we can see on the screen. This picture back here is the hero image. And it actually rotates through five different pictures if you want it to. So below that, there is a section for featured listings. This is not automatic. This is something you have to go in there and set up. And since we're talking about listings today, I think it's important that I show you how to, how to add those, okay? So what we're gonna do is you're just gonna go down here to consumer. Your consumer applet, the consumer section, is where your landing pages are set up, created, and managed. Your agent site pages are set up, created, and managed. You have your guide builder, and you have your site and app settings. There is, uh, in each one of these little applets, there's a spot where designs comes into play as well. But this is where you're gonna go to create a site, create a landing page, or manage the settings for your agent website. So up here, I'm gonna go to site and app settings. Remember that I'm giving you, I gave you the link. I have all the tutorial step-by-step -step on how to do this, plus the playback video. So don't panic if you're saying, I'm trying, you know, if anybody's actually trying to follow along with this right now, it might be a little bit challenging because there's so many strategies. So down at the bottom, we have, oh, I went to the wrong spot. We're in the general tab. Next to that, we have URLs. Next to that, we have featured listings. So I'm going to click the tab, featured listings. Okay, now let's assume when you first log in for the first time, you're actually not going to see any of these listings. So I'm gonna put them in the trash so you can see what it looks like when you first log in. So what you'll do is you will create a header. So this could be, it could say featured listings, it could say my listings, it could say office listings, it could say zip code, whatever it is that you want you can actually display any featured listings you want, including listings that are not your own. It's not the same as you marketing somebody else's listing, like you're running their listing on Craigslist or anything. It actually is within the terms of service through the co-broker agreement with MLS that we can show each other's listings. That's what the MLS is, right? On your website. So this is the same thing. So you can create a, a section of featured listings and you can show any listings that are in the system. So for example, I am uh, marketing to Summerlin, which is a neighborhood that I live in, in Las Vegas. And 89138 is a primary zip code in Las Vegas. So I could say on my website, I want to feature listings that are in 89138. So I would click select listings and up here, I'm going to drop this little arrow down and I'm going to go to zip code and I'm going to type in 89138. And then I'm going to change this box on the right from only my listings to all listings. And what am I missing? Show all listings, hold on, let me see if I, there they go. Keep something in mind. When you're working with command, being a beta software, meaning they're building it while we're using it, 
whenever there's a delay or something like that, sometimes it's just a matter of pausing and letting it catch up. And other times you just leave the screen and start it again. And if you know that, it'll make moving through this so much easier, okay? So let me try that again. I'm gonna go back to zip code 89138. Nope, not getting it today, I don't know why. All right, I'm just gonna go with Las Vegas for the sake of time. And we let's see what we get here. And Jeff, if you see anything while I'm working on this, it looks like an obvious uh, issue or mistake, let me know. I'm gonna get out of there, we're gonna try that one more time. Select listings. I'm gonna go down to zip code, change to all listings, eight, nine. There they are, see? <laughs> Sometimes you just have to do it again. All right. Okay, so now we're going to, you guys, let me, let me pause and, sit and address something really quick, just because I'm catching things out in catching some chat and whatnot. I cannot say enough that you have to be patient and understand that this is a beta software if you're going to use it, okay? Which means sometimes it doesn't work, or sometimes we're like, well, that's not very intuitive. Why does it do this and it should do this or whatever? I'm still amazed at, at actually where we are today with all of it, but yet I still have the same frustration sometimes that I can't get from A to C or I want the fancy, some of the fancy stuff. But if you get in here and actually follow like what I'm doing, start to finish, you have real usable tools at your fingertips. Just leave the rest. If something doesn't work, leave that one alone. Okay, and, and it will evolve. It will continue to evolve as we go through it. So now to get these listings up here on my agent site, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click 12 of them, okay? So I just go through and pick what I want. Now, ideally, I have a wish list too, trust me. My wish list for, for this page here would be able to select a default and say show all of my listings or show all of my office listings without going in there and, and doing this. But at least we have this. So you could pull up your own listings by MLS number, you could choose a selection before you get on here of MLS numbers, or you can do what I just did, do 89138. I would suggest checking this on a regular basis though because it does not update. If that listing gets sold, it won't be active anymore. 